Now at 11, only on CBS2, our cameras were there as parents walked their teens into the Newport Police Station one by one. They turned themselves into police in connection with the theater scare that caused moviegoers to run for their lives. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Majors. Pat has the night off. Detectives questioned several young people tonight in a theater prank that injured several moviegoers, and their parents were not pleased that our cameras were there. CBS2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler joins us live with a video you won't see anywhere else. Stacy. Paul, earlier tonight, we watched as two teenage boys and a teenage girl walked up these steps behind me to the Newport Beach Police Department. Uh, they, as soon as they saw us, they hid their faces and tried to rush for the front door. Watch one mom's reaction when I rolled cell phone video and asked a question. Are you guys here to turn yourselves in? Less than three hours after police released these security photos from inside the Edwards Big Newport Six Theater, where detectives say three teenage boys and a teen girl intentionally frightened moviegoers. Witnesses say they revved up a leaf blower like this one, claiming it was a chainsaw, and screamed at the crowd of stunned moviegoers who stampeded for the exits, leaving several injured. This is what our cameras captured on the front steps of the Newport Beach Police Department around 8 o'clock tonight. Two teenage boys and a girl hiding their faces behind their T-shirts, accompanied by adults. A police spokesperson confirmed the teens at the police department tonight are the same teens in these security photos, and they were interviewed in connection with the movie theater incident on Saturday. An hour and a half after they escorted the teens in, the same adults rushed out of the police station without the teens. One man ran to his SUV. The other adults had little to say. Do you folks have any comment? Any comment? Police confirmed that the fourth suspect also turned himself in here at the Newport Beach Police Department earlier tonight. We are told that all four are cooperating. We believe that all four of the teens live here in the Newport Beach area. Now, investigators also believe that the same teenagers may be responsible for a similar incident in Irvine, and they're looking into that. So far, the teens are not in custody. We will know what charges, if any, they face tomorrow. We're live tonight in Newport Beach. Stacey Butler, CBS 2 news.